Hey, this is Gary Kay, and welcome to another edition of my Rants and Rays video cast. And as you know, one of our partners is Exertus Almo, and one of their big brands that they um, do a lot with is Samsung. And many of you may not know this. I mean, I think, unfortunately, you would know this only if you've had to stay in the, in the hospital recently, but many of you may not know this. Like every other industry, uh, healthcare is going through a digital transformation, and Samsung's leading the way with some really unique products. I've asked uh, three representatives from Samsung to join me today. And I'd like to, them to introduce themselves first. Uh, Lisa, let's start with you, Lisa Bonsack. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Lisa Bonsack. I am the business development manager for our healthcare display team here at Samsung. And uh, next, how about you, James? Thanks, Gary. Hey, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, James Rose, director of sales for Samsung Healthcare Display. And not last but not least, Lisa Gilmore. Thanks, Gary. I'm Lisa Gilmore, and I'm a key account, senior key account manager in the healthcare display division with Samsung. Well, it's amazing how um, things have changed rapidly. And obviously, healthcare was, uh, was a key element in uh, what happened over the last uh, five years. And I think it made everyone with uh, connected to healthcare to rethink every part of the system and sort of accelerate digital transformation there. And obviously, there's some patient expectations uh, James, that are that exist, right? I mean, patients expect quick care, detailed care. They want to know that they're cared about, right? Um, tell us how Samsung Healthcare can improve the patient experience and ultimately the expectation of patients. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Great question. You know, it's really our mission here at Samsung to uh, digitize the healthcare and patient experience. You know, today, more so than ever before, patients expect the comforts of their home and real-time information about their care whether that's accomplished through having a larger TV in the patient room that displays your personal content or the ability to understand your medical journey through an integration with one of our IPC partners. 79% of patients better understand their health condition when a hospital uses a healthcare TV that's integrated with one of our IPC uh, platforms. Yeah, and you can see that in the image that's up there now is that you're getting more than television out of this. The patient's getting all their vital signs. And also, you know, one of the things that I noticed uh, in reading the, 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 the microsite that you have on this, which, by the way, if you click on the link below, you, you can go and see all the healthcare products, is that you can customize it, too. So, for example, if, uh, if a patient wants to know when their next doc, the next rounds for doc, which is that's always been a thing that I've wanted to know when the doctor is going to see me next, when the nurse is going to see me next, when I'm going to get to eat food, all that information could be there while I'm still controlling the TV content, you know, uh, because I'm stuck in a, in a hospital bed. hundred percent. Yep. Uh, I think that's really kind of cool. Um, and I think that's a, we're seeing, you know, sea change here as far as that goes. Um, another a a aspect of it is obviously what's been talked about a lot in mainstream press is burnout, uh, specifically nurse, uh, nurse burnout. It's been a big challenge in healthcare. Um, I have friends that are nurses that have talked about this themselves. Uh, Lisa uh, Bonsack, will you tell me um, about Samsung's digital transformation in healthcare that's helping to retain nursing staff and how that uh, how that how, how that works. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, nurses are um, definitely a shortage right now. And you know, the nurses that are out there are moving to traveling nursing jobs, which you know, pay more better. So it's really, really um, a top concern and challenge for healthcare providers to retain that nursing staff. So one way to do that is simply to make their lives easier when they're at work, right? Um, and a couple ways that Samsung mm -hmm. helps enable that is through, for example, um, putting digital whiteboards in the patient room. Uh, today, uh, most hospital rooms that you go into have that Expo whiteboard, and hopefully it's updated with your name and not the last patient's name. Um, so <laughs> we're able to digitalize that. And, and to your point earlier, Gary, personalizing it too, you know, um, to specific, when is that doctor going to come for the next round and whatnot? Uh, so we do that through our uh, digital technology um, with a digital whiteboard, but also even the the, the uh, sign outside the door, right? Typically it's, it's um, you know, very standard basic. That can also be um, uh, personalized and uh, save time essentially for the nursing staff that, so that every time a new patient gets admitted or discharged, they're not having to go room to room to room to uh, update all that. So uh, in general, uh, we actually did a test on this. Um, 
uh, there was a hundred page, a hundred bed acute hospital. In that hospital alone of 100 beds, it saved the staff nine hours per day. If you think about it, that's a head count of staff that had saved time for them, um, which again, anything, any way we can make it nurses' lives easier um, is, is better. I call it happy nurse equals then a happy patient, right? Uh, if yeah. you have a good nurse. Uh, yeah, and just, fact, uh, we're showing an image right now of that uh, board that might be right out or the display that might be right outside the door that replaced that manual plastic thing that they slide yeah. the board the binder into and had the little uh markers um that's all digital information that uh, not only it helps the nurses know who's in the room but also <laughs> what their condition is and, and what they need at that moment in time right exactly yeah this is yep. this is pretty amazing but there's also some other stuff that you're doing there right i mean it's not just uh, limited to whiteboards and door signs right um correct there's also uh you know when you think of nursing taken to the next level, um, we are now finding a lot of healthcare organizations going to virtual nursing. So it's essentially a supplemental nurse that's you know remotely anywhere in the in the world that's able to monitor that patient from their bed um, um, on a twenty four seven basis. So when you have a virtual nurse staring at a computer screen all you know for a 10, 12 hour shift, a uh, virtual nursing shift, that can really create a lot of eye strain on their eyes and that blue light. So Samsung has specifically designed curved monitors that really help reduce that eye strain and other features like you know not having to daisy chain a bunch of desktop monitors together to make a, to view all the you know 20, 30 patients that they're monitoring at one time. So it's it's much more um, you know just just a better uh, health and economic way for them to uh, to be monitoring patients as well to reduce yeah, that burnout. And- and, and these, these monitors are also available for the patients as well, because, I mean, obviously some, some of this is you're at home, right, uh, if you're lucky enough, but sometimes you're actually in the hospital and you're able to provide this, uh, the hospital might be able to provide this um, virtual medical right. service without the doctor actually going to the room. And we even found this situation during COVID where only one person was allowed to go in the room, and a lot of times the other caregivers that were there in the hospital were actually coming in virtually to answer questions, everything from physical therapy to actual doctors, right? I mean, that, that is another way this could be used. Yeah. It's not only efficient for the staff, but um, you know, it's from a protection of, you know, making sure that no one's contagious. Um, It's a, it's a safety precaution as well. So we're very excited to be able to offer those in patient room telehealth solutions as well. Um, Lisa Gilmore, um, I'm curious as you dire- as you directly interact with healthcare customers on a daily basis, share us ha- share with us how digital transformation has impacted your specific clients because you're talking to the mm-hmm. customers. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, digital transformation has really impacted our healthcare customers just in so many different ways. Um, you know, in fact, let me give you an example. Just as Lisa Bonzak was talking about digitalizing inside the patient room. You know, we're also seeing, you know, inside the patient room with digital whiteboards, you know, and even the digital door sign, it's definitely happening outside the patient room as well. So we're seeing it out there as well. Um, I'll give you an example at a nurse's stations. We're also seeing nurse status boards, which used to be the dry erase boards as well, now being digitalized as well. And, you know, using our Samsung interactive models, this allows the nursing staff to evaluate patient status in real time uh, as soon as the update is made in their EMR platform. Uh, And not only can it be used as a status board, but our interactive models can be written and annotated on digitally, you know, just kind of like the traditional whiteboard and the content can be saved, exported, et cetera. Um, You know, I'll give you another example. the other example really, you know, that outside the, uh, the patient room as well is mm-hmm. uh, donor, you know, donor uh, walls, so LED donor walls. Uh, we've all seen these in hospitals. And uh, instead of hanging up another plaque with the donor's name or etching it into the glass, um, and they're beautiful, but uh, we're also seeing a lot of customers go digital because they can then share so much more about the donors Uh, you know, their pictures, their contribution level, and really more importantly, how the donor's funding has really made an impact on the patient lives. And even taking it a step further, now the hospital can really use that real estate and tell the story about the hospital as well and where they came from and where they're going, et cetera, and how they're 
donors and the foundation is really helping them move towards that, that place. And what's interesting is there's a lot of different options for doing that. I mean, uh, Samsung has a lot of different display technologies that can even, you can literally fill a wall uh, with this rather than just being limited to, you know, 55 inch display. I mean, you've got large format uh, displays, even larger than that. And you also have LED and every technology. So I think it's critical. And I don't think a lot of people like, you know, I think it, it, companies in our industry and integrators often get called in to do the conference room or the, the training room or a medical school, but don't even think about the fact that they could touch uh, the entire facility. Um, so I think this is a great opportunity. Um, the fact that Samsung is making this available through Exertus Almo to do all this healthcare um, support services and to help these, uh, these play it's not just hospitals too, it's, it's um, nursing homes and everything um, medical, like it's even yeah. doctor's offices and dentists. I mean, everything is, yeah. is headed for digital transformation. I mean, I could, I could imagine one day where I'm having my teeth cleaned and I'm watching whatever I want to watch with a headset on. <laughs> and I think that would make that whole process go, go. We're already doing it, Gary. We're already doing it. There you go. I mean, like I, I, my, it's just my doctor, my dentist doesn't have oh, that. Yeah. So yeah. that's what ultimately I want. So I want to make sure I send a recording to this, to my doctor <laughs> and my dentist and say, look, this is where I want to be, uh, but it's ultimately going to happen. So if you want to learn more, obviously talk to your Exertus Alamo rep. And of course, talk to the Lisa Gilmore's team as well. Um, and all this is available uh, on Samsung's website. Just click the link below and learn more about this. And uh, look, I really appreciate the three of you joining me and, uh, and sharing this. I think a lot of people didn't realize that there was this level of transformation going on inside of healthcare. So thank you very much, James, Lisa, and Lisa. Uh, I appreciate what you did. And of course, you can see all of our uh, video casts like this at raypubs.com. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for so having us, James.